Today, I, my name is Sunita. Today, I'm here to take the lesson from the diary of Anne Frank. It is an excerpt from the book, The Diary of a Young Girl. It was written by Anne Frank. She was a 13-year-old girl who just called her diary Kitty. She had got a lot of friends, but she wanted to have a true friend in, which, uh, in whom she can confide everything. She had a loving family, her father Otto Frank, mother Edith Hollander Frank, and her sister Margaret, and a grandmother, and loving friends, and also aunts. So she was really very happy with all these uh, people. But the main thing is, uh, she was not at all able to tell everyday, daily, ordinary things. So she wanted a friend in whom she, uh, she can confide everything. So she know that uh, nothing is going to change. So she decided to write a diary. I think most of you have written diaries or most of you have got the habit of writing diaries. But uh, he, uh, we used to jot down facts in the diary. But here she did not want to do so. She wanted to consider this diary as a friend and also want to write in such a way that we tell uh, that is just as we tell everything to our friends. Her father presented this diary on her 13th birthday and she just wrote, started writing it on 12th June 1942. She called it Kitty and uh, you know she was a Jewish girl and she was a German born Jewish girl and uh, during the Nazi occupation they had to Move to uh, they had to go away from Germany and they had to go in hiding in her father Otto Frank's uh, office and uh, for two years they were in hiding and after that they were caught and uh, Anne Frank her mother Edith Hollander Frank and her sister Margaret they all died and after only Otto Frank survived and he by chance uh, saw the uh, diary which she had written and when he went through the diary, he understood that it was a work of a mature and insightful mind and decided to publish it. And then it was originally written in Dutch. Later, it was translated into many languages. And uh, this is a, one of the best sellers, you can say. And in uh, that is, she uh, was a 13 year old girl and she knew that nobody would be uh, wanting to read the musings of a 13-year-old uh, girl. 13 means teenage. So teenage is a problematic age, as you all know. But there's no problem as such. But still, that is, uh, you will not be uh, considered as a grown-up by the elderly people. And uh, by the small, if you go and play with the small children, they that is, your uh, parents will scold you. So only you can just adjust with your, uh, that is, the people of the, the children of the same age. So here, she wanted uh, to just, she uh, th thought that page, paper has more patience than people. Because uh, one day, uh, she had this feeling when she was having uh, a very gloomy feeling and was sitting at home. And th that is the day on which she decided to uh, write a diary. And uh, she started the diary uh, telling that her entire class is quaking in their boots. Quaking means trembling. They are very much uh, frightened. The reason for this is the about the forthcoming meeting the teachers are going to have about the about promoting the children to the next class. According to her, teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth because nobody knows what their decision will be, how they will behave in the next moment okay uh, then so she always keeps a very good uh, rapport with her teacher she respects her teachers when she was in the sixth form uh, she she had to uh, just leave the old school her headmistress mrs copera she was in tears and she was also uh, very much um, worried to leave that school she loved her grandmother very much uh, grandmother also, grandmother and her teacher, Kuperis also played a major part in her life. And she is very much sure that she and her 
uh, girl friends would make it or they will pass to the next class but she is not very much sure, sure about mathematics because mr kesing according to her he is an old forgy who uh, who is a particular peculiar type type of man forgy means old fashioned man and so she is worried about that and this kesing um, has given her uh, punishments three times that is she is a person who talks a lot in the class and once in the beginning in the first time he, he asked her to write a essay uh, on the topic a chat box and she wrote it uh, just convincing um, him that uh, her talkative nature is the thing that she has inherited from her mother her mother is a person who talked lot and she uh, also argued that uh, she cannot do anything with Uh, inherited traits inherited means traits that you acquire from your father and mother or from the family okay and so when he read it he was okay he was uh, satisfied he did not uh, just give her any uh, punishments he just uh, neg uh, that is you can say that he was uh, he allowed her to talk after three classes again when the talking was very much uh, uh, he understood that uh, she has to be given a second punishment She, he asked her to write an essay on the topic uh, an incorrigible chatterbox incorrigible means that which cannot be corrected okay an incorrigible or the, uh, that is incorrigible chatterbox he she also uh, wrote that essay uh, in two or three pages and uh, submitted it uh, to her max teacher her max teacher uh, did not say anything then again um, her talking was too much a third time also he assigned her an uh, essay on the topic quack 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 said mrs chat mistress chatterbox so uh, she was really um, worried because she had just exhausted her ingenuity for writing uh, the essays because for the last two essays she has written everything and she did not know uh, what to do at that time her friend say Uh, agreed to help her to write the uh, essay in verse. That means in a poetry form, and she wrote the poetry. And the content of the poetry, or uh, the theme of the poetry, was about a uh, father swan and a uh, mother, uh, father duck and a mother swan, and three baby ducklings. They had three baby ducklings, and these three baby ducklings they used to quack and quack and quack. and uh, that is the sound made by the ducks you know and they quacked a lot and the father uh, became very angry he beat them to death that was the thing even though she wrote this she was a uh, little bit frightened to, as to what uh, mr kesing's reaction would be but mr kesing uh, took it in the right way he uh, read it in the class uh, read aloud in the class adding his own comments and jokes and he also read it in the other classes as well and after that he just started telling jokes and everything so uh, that is where the lesson comes to an end okay thank you